everybody. My name is Carolyn Cooper and I'm a member and co-chair of the Public Service Fund Committee along with Colleen. Hello. We're, here, <laughs> we're here to talk about what the committee is and how it works. Um, so I'm going to talk about the part that I've been chairing. Um, so co-chairs, we have two different kind of uh, primary functions and um, the Public Service Fund is designed to bring uh, new Minties into Mint. And so we're really focused on supporting folks from underserved areas. So these are areas where um, it's, it's unique to be able to offer motivational interviewing and we're looking to uh, help folks from places like Bangladesh and Singapore and Africa and other places in the world where they're doing some really important work, um, have Mint members who can then train other folks and bring this way of being to those parts of the country. So the PSF has sort of two primary functions. One is we have a wonderful group of committee members who do really important work in terms of supporting these two functions. The part that I've been most involved in is reviewing the applications for funding. This is a really challenging job. This past year we had 40 applications and we're able to fund about 10 people. So part of what we do is we look at the applications. Each applicant is reviewed by three independent committee members. And then we try to score them and determine who is uh, the most um, needy and where our funds are gonna be best uh, placed. Uh, this is a process that takes about three months on average and involves lots of coordination and com communication with the, the membership and Colleen and I support one another as that uh, process occurs. The other part of the committee work is what Colleen's going to talk about next. Great. And I, the one thing I would add to the mission of PSF is as a as sort of a value, Mint doesn't want money to be a reason someone couldn't learn MI or couldn't um, expand their own expertise or implementation knowledge or MI skills. And so some of the money is also um, used to help bring Mint uh, members to the forum. So not just new TNTs, but also Mintees as well, so that we can keep help and keep supporting people to um, attend our events and to be able to continue to learn and grow NMI the best that we can. Um, that, uh, that's harder um, and we have sort of a time limit too. So if we've supported somebody um, for one year, then the next four years we wouldn't support them again just because we're trying to spread that money across and have as many people benefit from it as possible. Um, so the committee um, helps with the evaluation of the applications, but they also help in the auction, which is where we do right now is our primary source of raising money um, outside of just direct donations through membership dues. So when people pay their dues, there's a question that they're asked if they would like to donate some money to the PSF fund. Um, and so folks can donate directly that way. But we also have a silent auction that's been running for years um, at the forum where Mint members bring really unique items. It's one of my favorite parts of the forum because there's things from all over the world. They're very cute and um, interesting and um, people bid on them. Um, and then they are donated for free and then all of the revenue generated from that is all supported and given back to the PSF. And that's the funds that we use for the applications and supporting people to come. This year, we're trying something new. Um, as a committee, we would like to continue to find ways to um, grow and find ways to raise money for PSF and maybe down the road, maybe even just for Mint. Um, but for right now, it's focused on PSF. Um, so we're trying an online auction. Um, last year, people were donating services like online trainings or coaching or um, coding. And we thought that's something that we could do online because people don't have to pay for shipping. Um, so we're trying that this year. We've been very fortunate. We've had I think at least 17 to 18 donations already. Um, and so fingers crossed that this goes well and it's on eBay and, um, and it's open to the world, not just to Mint members, which is another way of us um, trying to think about ways to bring in this money to help others come into Mint, um, but also to be able to share our expertise externally of Mint um, to anybody that's interested. Um, so we'll see, I'm not sure how it'll go, but we'll try. 
Um, and then we also have a committee member, Lisa, who um, handles merchandise for us. And she um, comes up with creative ideas on t-shirts and mugs and cups and all kinds of things um, that we sell at the forum. Um, this year we'll be selling two t-shirts and a um, like a travel mug, like, like this kind of a mug thingy. Um, and that so people can buy it and all the, the, the difference between what it costs us to pay for that and how much we charge for it also goes back to PSF. Um, so that's the PSF. And if you'd like to know more about it, you can always reach out to Carolyn or myself. We're always um, interested in um, helping new members join or find a way for you to use your strengths and talents in Mint. And if, if our committee is that, give us a call and you can reach us through our emails. Um, uh, C Marshall 0323 at Gmail, um, or you'll see lots of emails from us in the forums.